molded into the priesthood of Melchizedek. But hold on, brother. They, they don't even believe the book of Hebrews, man. Yep. <laughs> They're Old Testament. They are flashy Old Testament Israelites. Man. And it says, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shah Mashiach? Yeah, not even captivity. Keep going. Shall not even ourselves. Because it wasn't of our doing. That's why we don't boast. We were walking around, and then one day, Shazam! A light hit. Shazam! I started growing. Hey, as a personal testimony, I started growing my beard through the spirit before I knew I was supposed to have one. Before I knew I was supposed to have one, I started growing. I said, man, I feel like I'm supposed to have a beard. You know, I had waves, right, with an edge up, and I was walking down the street, and I said, man, this. And I just flipped it back. Fuck this, man. You know? And in, in, in the world, I had this Jake. His name was Karan, man. You know? And you know what he told me? He said, man, you look like how you speak. Mm. That was his spirit. Because I was slowly, you know, being groomed and changed before it fully became, this is it. You know? Because Jake kind of do that. He kind of reach a plateau. Then he comes back down. He gets real bold and he comes back down. But the spirit allowed us to cross that threshold. The, 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 uh, uh, what does it say? The preparation? What's it? The, um, the bill? Oh, excuse me. The it says the partition. The partition. The water. What you're spoken about in the scriptures, meaning Yahweh Shai. So the Lord allowed us to go in. Keep going. And it says, uh, such tribulation or distress or persecution. That all sounds like America to me. Keep going. Or, or famine or nakedness yep. or peril or sword. As it is written, now all those things, it'd be very hard to live by the law. Tribulation, famine, uh, what else, brother? Persecution, distress, uh, distress, poverty. What if I can't afford fringes? Do y'all set up a community fund to give out free fringe shirts? Right? Like, you know what I mean? <clears throat> oh, uh, verse 36, it says, as it is written, for they sake we are killed all the day long, yeah. we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yeah. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Right. We're the real conquerors in the spirit, man. All right. We're overcoming the same world our Lord and Savior overcame. Right. And now we have mercy. We're, we're overcoming this world through spirit, truth, and faith. Is that it on that? Verse 38, it says, for I am persuaded that neither death, yep. nor life, yep. nor angels, yep. nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able Woo! to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in the house shy of our God, our Lord. Man, that charges me up, man. And that charges me up in the spirit, you know? See, that's, that's the mindset we have in. If you just the law, where's the boldness going to come when the hour hits you? When they rip your fringes off and pull off your 100% t-shirt and put that mixed fabric or that polyester, uh, 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 you know, nylon handcuffs on you. Where's the spirit of boldness going to kick in uh, of the faith and grace? When's that time going to hit? Because see, we, we enter in that time now. We're in that time now, man. Where you got to embrace the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Right. And not just the Levitical priesthood. Let's get back. We are priests. Yep, we are priests though. Every, everyone up here that you see is a priest. All right. You know, call Yahweh Shemel Shai. Call Yahweh Shemel Shai. But we're priests under the order of Melchizedek. Right. So you got a guy, you got a teacher who's trying to use his Levitical tribe as a, as a, 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 a status. He's a demon. You don't even know if you're from that tribe. You know? Yeah. Like a hundred percent. Right. And then like what side do you come from? Right. Like, how do you know you're from Aaron? That's an awesome point. You could be from uh you know Marawa. Yep. Yeah. All right, he yeah, has different sons. Yep. You know? Yep, that yep. Like I, I we like I say I'm gad, but we'll find out. Right. This brother says he's Levi, we'll find out. This brother says he's Benjamin, but we'll find out. But either way, we'll all be priests and kings in our kingdom. So get off your damn Levitical priest's uh, high horse. That's the spirit. James 2 and verse 6. 
for ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you. Hey, you charging people to watch your shows? Oh. Only, only catch this show. Only catch, what, what, bro? Every thirty days, I'm making sure I have enough money just for rent, and I gotta pay you now. Damn, bro. Yeah, Jake got holes in her back. Freely you receive, freely you give, but you ain't freely receiving, man. You stole it. You mixed it. You molded it. You made it into your own concoction and then started dishing it out like a drug dealer. Yes. Witches, man. Watch out for the seven sons of Sceva and the leading priests, man. Do not rich men oppress you yeah. and draw you before the judgment seat. We're sitting out in camp in a damn chariot full of purple t-shirts with a license plate said Judah 144 look didn't even look our way like we was we was bums on the street well, that, that's what they think of us man they look down on us they call us bums they call us you know the r word down even won't say it but you know yep do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which you are called yeah if if ye fulfill the royal law According to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Where are your fringes? You you late from work, situation just happened. But where's your fringes? Bro, you think I want to hear that? Right. Hey, well, and another thing, you need to know the reason why we wear fringes. And on top of that, what happened that led to us wearing fringes? And, and thirdly, why is it at the bottom of our garments? Do you need a, do you need to have fringes on not to eat pork? Do you need fringes on to not try to get with a man's woman? Do you need fringes on to tell you're an Israelite? No. That's why it says the Hebrews were tasting. We're tasting the new covenant. The fringes were for Jake to remember the law because the Jake was picking up sticks. That's why Paul said the Lord winked in our ignorance because there's a law of ignorance. We don't need to wear fringes to know the Sabbath is coming. Right. We don't need to wear fringes to know, oh, I got camp. <clears throat> I'm a, uh, I don't know who I am. And then the brother just throws a garment on me. Uh, I'm an Israelite. What the hell, bro? You're, you're idolizing. Uh, the, the, you like the Jake that they had to destroy. Remember he stole the garment and the gold? Yeah, yep. Damn, dude. Aiken. 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 Yeah, you Drum. about you about bacon. to be you about to be aching because you need fringes not to eat bacon. Aching already. Right. <laughs> about to be shaking. Yeah, you about to be shaking when the earthquake is. <laughs> now they talking about don't be hating. <laughs> keep, keep going, bro. That's the Lord mocking you. You don't think the Lord, you know? Hey, the Lord cold with it, man. You you shouldn't be in the spirit of of of, of wearing fringes anyway, man. You should have a low key spirit about you concerning this truth. All right? You should be on, on Clark Kent mode, man. All right? And then when you come to camp, that's when you're Superman. This is when your real true self comes out. Yeah. You shouldn't be going to damn clock in the work with fringes on. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hey, hey, the Wadi Abbas website, the Wadi Few Brothers, man, and information sharing. Uh, Brothers, strive for the mastery. He's 144. He said yesterday in the stream, Deacon Haka said he'd clown a broke brother for being a bum of life. What? Bro, they said we got, we're in captivity to this day. We got holes in our bag. Child, all types of. And then another brother said, what state? We're in New York. We're in New York State, brother. He said, so I can share with other sincere bros and sisters to let them know this truth is all over and they build. Yep, yeah, we're in New York State, brother. Upstate. Upstate, so I get uh, read, keep going. I'll just see when brothers posted. They're posting beautiful precepts. This is back in James 2 and verse 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yeah. Ye do well. Yeah. But if he, but if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. Yep. Yeah. So now, with your respect to persons because of the outer apparel, you're just off. Your judgment's off. You're a reprobate. You have no faith. You have no faith. You have no hope because you can see fringes. What shall a man hope for what he sees? Oh, I see fringes. Man of the Lord. You're not hoping at it, man. You just think you're it. 
And that's another thing, men fall out. For many are called, but few are chosen. Y'all just think, I'm an Israelite, I got fringes, boop, here's a staff, Juan Melcherala. It don't work like that. This ain't a step team. You know, this ain't a, a fraternity ritual. Right. You know what I mean? They're just, uh, uh, and now they're just, they're just in. <laughs> you know? This shit is wild, bro. You got something real quick, Curtis? Yeah. <clears throat> this is from the Romans 8 and 24, and it says, For we are saved by hope. <laughs> oh, I'll read that again. I'm yep. sorry. Romans 8 and 24, <laughs> and it says, Oh, that's another thing. You got to love your brother in the spirit, not just because it's the law. Hey, you love yourself, but that's not because of the law. Right. You know, you have something in your spirit where you care, because it says, He that is evil to himself, who shall he do good? So, in your spirit, you have love for one another. You know? Romans 8 and 24, it says... So my point is, you could get caught up in the law and become... Um, I don't want to use the word superficial, but you could get, become fake. Over righteous. Yeah, you're, oh, you're not, it's not genuine. It's not sincere. Okay? That's why it tells you in uh, Philippians, the first chapter, it's about sincerity. All right? Keep going. <clears throat> Romans 8 and verse 24... For we are saved by hope. Yeah, because see, you're you're bonded by the law to be in this. We want to be in this because of the spirit. You know? We want to be here. It's not oh, man, I, I gotta go. Leviticus. Hey, that's why you always I said, man, hey, you went out sin, cast the first stone. Jake was like the dude from Dave Chappelle. He <laughs> right? He robotted his ass out of there. Cause you were under bondage. He backed up like Homer. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get rid of an Old Testament dick? Bring out the law. That's, hey, brother, the sun about to go down. You know, oh, shit. <laughs> right? You know? Man, he, he saw could fucking uh, bomb this place right here and, and the nigga run out with fringes on. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's so easy for you guys to be uh, infiltrated. Man. Mm -hmm. You know? Easy. Uh, uh, that's my bad, brother. No, my bad. That's why the scripture says, what? Be wise as serpents and homeless as doves. Y'all not y'all not wise, man, and, and neither are y'all hermits, y'all brothers, man. Can I, I will read some about Kasha. This is I was reading Philippians. The spirit the spirit's been jumping on us to get more into the gospels, you know, more into the gospels. All right. This is Philippians one and nine, and it says, "And this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment, that ye may approve things." that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense to the day of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Be sincere and without offense. How can you be sincere and without offense? Being a, a spiritually sound-minded. Because you could offend a brother trying to correct him according to the law because you ain't show mercy. Damn it. Yeah. Keep going, and we got to go back in James, and we still got to get Galatians. Yep. Back to Romans 8 and 24. For we are saved by hope. We're saved by hope. Not the law. And not the law. <clears throat> we have liberty in Yahweh Shire, man. Right. When you look up the word liberty, it says free from the bond of the Mosaic law. Ooh. You got to understand, those, oh, those, those uh, wicked ass Israelites, those Levites, they were oppressing the people worse than the Romans, man. You know, you know what? It, you know what? What cuts that? It's it's not just the law. The law. What did Paul say? Even though it's lawful, it's not expedient. But you're out here. It's because of the law. Well, that's where wisdom comes in. It's, it's expedient. Yep. And also experience. Yep. You know. Yep. That's why we have apostles and elders. Yep. That are, that through the Spirit are grooming us into be men. We're becoming men. Okay. Because now we're putting away childish things. Don't be childish, man. Grow up, as Elder uh, uh, Ariala says, man. Right. Grow up, okay? And, and, and Mr. Law Law, go into Deuteronomy 22, you know? Right. <laughs> Keep going. And it says, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seen, why do he yet hope for? Oh, look, Crunches on. He's got fringes on. He's got a garment. I don't need to hope that he's telling the truth. It's a man of the Lord. We're saved right. because I, I see it. Right. So I don't need to hope that you're right. you're you're the man of the Lord. You gotta be. Right. See, but the hope is 
when, when you don't know for sure, that's where the faith kicks in. Hope and faith go hand in hand and faith and works goes even better. You see, my, I'm showing you my faith by my work and I hope my work by my faith gets me delivered through predestination. <clears throat> see? Uh, verse 25, tell him, man, Jake's a barracuda. As long as it's shiny, I want it. That's scary, bro. You get you get bewitched, man. Y'all Jakes are too simple. You're too simple. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Verse 25, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we, excuse me, then do we with patience wait for it? Oh, that was the point. Yep. Yeah, that was Let's good. go back in James. It's all about hope. You're hoping that you're going to be delivered. See, these Jakes living by the law don't need a hope. Well, I need pork. I got my fringes. I got my laser sharp edge up. That's another thing. All y'all talk about the law, you got dreads. You, you got the damn bald fade. You got, and we ain't wearing bandanas to hide our hairline. You don't think we don't know about that? You got a lot of, a lot of supplanting ass janks that be wearing them to hide that, that hairline, man. You see? You, you're hopeless, all right? You ain't hopeful. You're hopeless, man. <clears throat> you're faithless. You're faithless. Back in James 2 and verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend at one point, he is guilty of all. So you can do all the things, right? And then you sit down next to your co-worker and she's on her menstrual. Boop! Off. Off. You see? Stone. Stone. Back then, back then, it was ruthless, man. You get your ass stoned in a heartbeat. Oh, so you got the Sabbath, right? Do you blow out the pilot light on your water heater? Right. Do you take cold showers? Right? Do you right. turn on your light? Because that's a flame. You know, look at all the stuff you got to do. You see? You know? When you go to school, you you make sure, oh, your child. Are you teaching them the laws or are they in public school? Oh, that means you need a Deuteronomy 13, the whole school. Right? Right, bro? Because they teach them evolution. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got a Deuteronomy 13, the whole lot of them. Right now, they were friends of them. Yep. You better, you better tuck them and tie them and go to war. And you better yell Joshua before you swing. You blowing, uh, you circling your cup. Keep going, bro. James 2 and verse 11. For he that said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So speak ye and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. Keep going. Right, we're under the law of liberty. All right, look, it's only us three out here in the spirit. We don't have the elder apostles calling us, checking in on us. You know, we don't have our regional elders calling and checking us. We have the law of liberty to make sure we're doing our full duty through the spirit while rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, that's our liberty. You see, keep going. Because the Lord is raising us up to be men, not to be, uh, 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 you know, handled like little children. You know, for he shall show, I'm sorry, for he shall have judgment without mercy that showed no mercy. See, now we use the scripture for Esau, but the context of it is uh, uh, being written for all these Jakes, these Israelites that are, are unmercifully judging you according to the law. It's being said that they're going to receive no mercy, they have shewed no mercy, and oppressing our people with the law. Because you can oppress, are we not oppressed by Esau's law? Yeah. So we're being oppressed, well, I'll say this, you got Jake's out there being oppressed by the Levitical law. Remember the one little Jake? He said, man, he was like, I don't know what to do. I got to give all the, my money to the key because he's a, a Levite. One of them other camps. I'm not even going to say the name uh, uh, out of respect. That's extortion, man. It says that. Extortion. That says that in oh, Matthews. Yeah. You dead bones yeah. 23. Yeah. You yeah. extort them. Yeah, you that. know, the spirit, yeah, we get it. That's extortion. But right, extortion. You know? This shit is wild, bro. A gangster, man. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, bro. The gangster in the car. Hey, you ain't doing that to me. I remember in the spirit, uh, I ISBK told me if I get a woman, they got a teacher. I said, yeah, all right. 
Yeah, all right. And that was the last time I went to that. That was the last conversation we had. He said, you got to wait six months. Tell your mother wait six months. Right. You know? You overwrite your ass, man. You take the delusional. Yeah, man. You're delusional. You out here in a Burger King drive through line with a Metreon saying, uh, uh, no bacon. The bun's got pork in it. <laughs> you know? I told him that, though. Because he was telling me I couldn't eat tuna. And I'm like, it's got scales and fins. And he, you know, and then he somehow in the spirit, I mentioned it. He say, I said, well, Burger King buns got pork, and he said, he said, stop it, I, yeah, they got pork in it, bro. Oh, I ain't know that, yeah. No, Mr. Law Abiding Citizen, you see, this system is set up for you to not serve your power according to the law. That's why we have Yahweh Shai. That's why we're under grace. We're not in the Persian Empire. We don't have Cyrus telling us to rebuild the temple. We're in uh, the worst kingdom known to man who was set up to take away our altar, who was set up to be the abomination of desolation, who was set up to turn us into Gentiles, who was set up to feed us bread defiled among the Gentiles. So this kingdom is not set up for us to live by the law. That's why there's a prophecy that no man shall teach his neighbor because in the kingdom, we'll have the new covenant. Damn, you dudes are frustrating prophecy. <laughs> like, like right. Christians say that they, they have the new covenant. Right. They're basically saying it without saying it. Right. You know? <clears throat> Back in James 2 and 13, for he shall have judgment without mercy. Where are your fringes? Now you're in the spirit world standing before the uh, throne and being asked, where's your fringes? Well, we have all fringes too. Yep. <laughs> we got spiritual fringes. The new covenant spiritual fringes. You know? You know? Because we ain't going to need fringes in the kingdom. Because the fringes were for all. Get it? Number 15. That's the spirit. I said that in the spirit. Oh, see? Oh, see? Why were we taught? We ain't knocking them. Hey, I love them. I think they're cool. But you're idolizing them. You're idolizing them. You know, and you and you women are simple too. You know, we ain't knocking you, but you're simple, just like in the world. A uh, chick asked me, "Oh, you ain't got an iPhone? You're shallow." So uh, now, now, now I need an iPhone, Jordans, and fringes. Damn! <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, we, what the fuck, bro? They can't man. win. Can't win. Can't win man. But we are winning in the spirit, man. Right. Win, win, win. Right. You know? F everything else. Yep. You know? Yep. Win. Endure to the end. Endure to the end. Read this. You got the point? Yep. Public Please. shop. Please for the brothers and sisters. All right. Number in the spirit, read that. No, excuse me. Numbers 15 and verse 31. Because he had despised the word of the Lord, and I had broken his commandment, that soul shall be, that soul shall be utterly uh, be cut off his iniquity shall be, shall be upon him. Oh, so when you sin, you're supposed to be cut off. When we break the law, we're supposed to be cut off. Yep. So what, what do we do now? What, what happens with that? Mr. Mr. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, what happens now? What do I do now? Oh, 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 oh well, we, with that, well, that's when we can, we can call on Christ. Keep going. Verse 32. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness... They found a man that gathered sticks upon the side of the day. And they and they that found him gathering sticks brought him to Moses and Aaron and unto all the congregation. And they put him in word because it was not declared that should be done to him. And the Lord said to Moses, The man shall be surely be put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation brought Why did him. the Lord do that? Why did the Lord kill him? When just before that we were told the law of ignorance. So why did the Lord kill him? To show Israel, all right, the, the, the bondage you'll be under with this law, man. Remember what he told him, I'll give you a king, but he's gonna put your sons to war, your daughters in the kitchen. This is why we need Yahweh Shai to be saved from things just like this. Just from picking up sticks. Damn. That's like you going to work. 
I had, what was last Sabbath? Uh, Sunday to Monday? Yeah. Well, I had to work Monday. I was looking, I was looking around my shoulder, making sure Alizar wasn't coming for me. You know? Or Phineas. <laughs> you know? He said, no more white lemon! <laughs> He's like, damn, yeah, bro. That's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, wait, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Keep going. And it says, verse 36, and all the congregation brought him without the camp and stoned him yeah. with stones, and he died as the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord said, This is why it said, Curse is he that hangeth from a tree. We were cursed under this law without Yahweh Shai. Let me say that again. We were cursed under the law without Yahweh Shai. Right. Right? Yeah. Why are we going to captivity? Because of the curse of the law. Why are we under curses? Because of the law. Right. We are we are cursed under the law without Yahweh Shai. Right. Yahweh Shai is the mediator. No. Not the law. You know. The law can't bring you back to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. He's that door. The truth. <clears throat> the pro petition. Yep. Pro petition. That wall of partition. So I guess the Benjamin in water. <laughs> Keep going. Verse 37, And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes. So, the so all right, so now we're, what, what, they're making what? It says fringes yeah. in the borders of their garments yeah. throughout their generation. Yeah. And they that put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. For what? And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And that now, now, now when you see these jakes, ask them, tell me all the laws, right? Read that again. It so says, each fringe, I'm supposed to quote a law. Read it again, it right? Yeah. Each fringe represents a law. So mister, where's your fringes? I want you to pull each one. He loved me, he loved me not. I want you to pull it out. I want you to, I want you to quote it. <laughs> I want you to quote the law. There better be 613 fringes on you. At all times. I was meditating on that. So like what? When you sleep? What about when you gotta take a shower? You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, you know, you start thinking about this. Like, so when do when am I not supposed to wear fringes? Am I supposed to have it on 24-8? You got Jake at work in a tight ass cubicle, sweating, and his fringes is tucked in his button up. Talking about how can I help you? Sweating his ass off. Man. Then when he gets home, he's like, Quam oh, Yashua. <laughs> That's called first train of the, uh, the grace. That's first get train of grace. We got to get it. We got to get it. Finish it off. So you hear that, brothers? You hear that, sisters? Why are we wearing fringes? To remember the reading again. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe for that, uh, that ye may look upon it. I'm looking. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do them, and that and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye uh, excuse me, after which ye use to go a whoring. See, so the whole premise of the fringes was for you to remember the law which he forgot, and it was at the border because he was bending down to pick up sticks. You know, so it's like you walking down the street, you're like ass fringe, ass fringe, uh, 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 Leviticus. <laughs> like damn bro you like what what the hell you know you don't need the alphabet to remember your abc's jake is bugged out, jake is bugged out. let's keep going no see so that was why we had fringes on but we don't need fringes for me not to eat pork do you need fringes to be saved no hell no no do you need fringes to call upon the name no no what proves that? Do you need fringes to have faith? No. No. What proves that? Prophecy. Prophecy outweighs the law. Prophecy is the reason why the creature was subject to vanity. Prophecy outweighs the law. If the law was this street, that 30 miles an hour speed limit, red light, green light, stop sign, prophecy is the car accident. Prophecy is the jaywalking. Prophecy is the fight breaking out in the middle of the street. Right. So you can lay down. That's why I said it was a schoolmaster. See? Yeah. yeah. Under tutelage. You know? Guidelines. Water. Yeah. So let's keep going. Back in James 2. 
and 13. Yeah, keep going. For he shall have judgment without mercy that showed no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. Keep going. Okay. Verse 14. What thought it what thought it profit my brethren? No a man say he hath faith and hath not works. Can faith save him? <coughs> James 2 and 13. So, for he shall have judgment without mercy that showed no mercy, yep. and mercy rejoices against judgment. And that's one thing, too. These guys don't show mercy to carnal, you know? They look in the outward, not the inward, you know? They don't know what uh, what this uh, this, uh, this, this uh, certain uh, change is going through, you know, uh, 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 at this time, you know? You can ask them by a hey, hey, man, with your fringes. Hey, man, it's all about the faith. And them doing that is doing what? Putting a stumbling block in front of your brother or sister, you know? And, and that's why how I die for us, uh, because what? <clears throat> because, uh, uh, because right now, uh, being in this uh, this uh, cold and crucial and very uh, uh, devious world, you know, the law, is, listen, man, it's not going to uh, uh, benefit us anyhow. That's why we repent in, uh, in the uh, uh, house you know? <laughs> hey, uh, so Lionheart said, I remember a title of a video of a channel that said fringes are dying. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? That proves that the fringes are an idol. Because what else was an idol that was given to us? The brass serpent, right? And then in King 17, uh, the, uh, or, uh, 1 King 17, the king had to destroy the brass serpent because Jake was worshiping. So like we had technical difficulties, uh, the phone shut off because of the uh, it was blistering cold. Just said no. <laughs> hey, so we're going to keep the ball rolling. We're pre-recording. So if it, if it goes off, Salakia, but, um, we're just going to keep rolling. We're going to pre-record. Let's just keep rocking. Uh, Back in James, read that, James. read that again, please. <clears throat> Back in James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that showed no mercy. Yep. And mercy rejoices against judgment. Yeah, so you got to have mercy. All right, well, brothers and sisters, like... Uh, a brother or sister may believe that the Sabbath is Friday or Saturday. Now, we're not going to condemn you for it, but you'll be corrected on it and pray in the spirit. Right, that, you gonna stone him? Yeah, yeah, you're going to stone him? You're going to stone him, Stony? You're going you gonna to kill him? You're going to kill me Yo. in front of my son? <laughs> you know? you going to cast him off? Yeah. Damn. you going to meta world peace him? Like, damn, where's the love? Who's that, the Black Eyed Peas? Yep. Where is the love? Where is the love? You know? Where's the faith? Where is it at? Come on, man. Keep going, brother. <clears throat> Verse 14. What doth it profit my brethren, though a man say he hath faith yep. and have not works? Yep. Can faith save him? <clears throat> if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, yep. and one and one of you 